All right, it's finally here, the G73JH. This is the X3 version from Asus. Just look at it. It's absolutely beautiful. I love this thing. I saw it at CES uh, this year, and it was like the first thing at the Asus booth that I ran to because I just, I really, really liked it. This thing is uh, built on and inspired by, or at least the design is, uh, by the F117 Stealth Fighter. So actually you can see it's all black. Take a look at this thing on the back. Uh, all matte black. I think that's my favorite part about it. It is so cool. Look, no fingerprints, Ma. No fingerprints. Finally, somebody got the, the memo that we don't like glossy things with lots of fingerprints. Uh, this thing is awesome. Flat black all the way through. Flat black keyboard. Flat black uh, bezel, everything on here. It really looks like it's part of an F-17 Stealth Fighter. Uh, very, very cool laptop. Now, let's talk about this because this is an incredible gaming laptop. This has got this is like the cream of the crop. DirectX 11 capable. It's got a uh, integrated 5870 with one gigabyte of GDDR5 in it, which is absolutely incredible. This is a 17.3 inch display. 17.3 inches. It's 1920 by 1080, 16 by 9 aspect ratio. It is LED backed. This thing is a monster, guys. Uh, and while we're up here, uh, look over here, top of middle. Uh, everything on here is premium. I'm going to go ahead and start with the webcam because it's super premium. Two megapixel uh, webcam. So not only do you have a huge screen, uh, lots of resolution, 16 by 9, but your webcam is a two megapixel webcam. Now, this thing is very, very fast. Now, this thing is really powerful. Uh, it is powered by a Core i7. Uh, it's the 720QM. That's a 1.66 gigahertz uh, Core i7, but it self overclocks using Turbo Boost uh, to 2.8 gigahertz on single threaded applications. It features hyper threading. It's got six megabytes of L2 cache, very, uh, very fast. And with this laptop, you can self overclock it with a push of one button. I'll show it to you in just a second. Uh, now, you also get eight gigabytes of DDR3 memory that's clocked at 1333. Uh, that's a ton of memory, more than pretty much any other laptop because they usually only have uh, two DIMM slots. This one has four, um, so you can put a lot of memory in here. You can even upgrade it further to 16 if you so desired. No laptop does that. Uh, absolutely incredible. Again, uh, it does have that 5870 uh, ATI ra mobility Radeon, uh, one gigabyte of GDDR5, HDMI, all the Avivo stuff. You can do like 10 Blu-rays at the same time. It's just super, super powerful as far as that's concerned. Uh, it does have an HDMI port to output to a 1080p television if you so desire, but you got 1080p right here. Uh, as far as hard drives go, it's really cool. It's got a 640 gigabyte hard drive, SATA, uh, but what's really cool about this laptop is it has a second spot to add another hard drive or even better, uh, an SSD as far as I'm concerned. I would love to put an SSD here and then maybe the 640 here and have the best of both worlds, a really fast boot drive and then lots of storage as well. So that's incredible. Uh, NDRAFT Wireless is also on board, Gigabit Ethernet, Bluetooth 2.1 plus EDR. Uh, you have the best as far as connectivity is concerned. This thing is incredible. Now, I'm going to take you for a quick tour, show you where everything is. First of all, keyboard, full size, very, very nice full size keyboard. Uh, again, all flat black. I don't know if you can see it, but it is backlit and you can turn it off if you so desire. So it's great for gaming at night. This is an absolute must have as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I can't believe that people don't use backlit keyboards. It's just such a simple thing. So many people, uh, you know, use their laptops late at night, so that's really important. Huge, huge trackpad. That's another thing that I find to be very important. Why would you make it so small when you have all the space? Very, very large trackpad on here. Uh, it looks small in comparison to the rest of this uh, computer, but this computer is huge, so it's very, very large trackpad. Uh, one button. Uh, it does have light, left and right clicks, um, so that is available right there. Also on here, you do have a full number pad uh, on the right-hand side. So if you're doing any type of business uh, or Excel spreadsheets, very useful uh, for doing that. Now I'm going to go over here, give a tour of the left-hand side. Uh, starting over here in the back, first thing you're going to notice is your Ethernet port. Uh, that is a 10-100-1000 Ethernet port, so it is full gigabit. Uh, you have a USB 2.0 port. This is your Super DVD RW drive. Uh, it will do all the formats you could possibly throw at it, RAMs, ROMs, you name it, it's going to do it. Uh, USB 2.0 port over here. There's actually four in total, two on each side. Uh, you have your input and your output for your headset and your microphones. Uh, on the front, not much going on except for some indicator lights for power, battery, hard drive activity, and then for your wireless antenna. Uh, then over here uh, to the right-hand side, uh, the first thing you're going to notice is that you do have a card reader. This is a, I believe it's a six or eight in one. Um, so your MS, your XD, your SD, your SDHCs are all going to work, your ProStick Duos. Uh, right next to that, is the two other USB 2.0 ports that I mentioned earlier. Again, there's four in total on here, uh, so that's really nice. You have your HDMI, 
Again, a Vivo HD from the ATI Radeon uh, is going to power this. It's going to give you full 1080p, perfect, perfect playback of Blu-rays or HD content as well uh, as multi-channel audio. And then finally, your VGA port uh, right here in case you want to hook up uh, an external monitor and then, of course, your power cable. Now, it's really cool to notice everything on this thing, all the, all the vents point in one direction. That's towards the back. Uh, so you see these two really big vents on both sides. It's very cool. A, it's inspired by the F-117 uh, Stealth Fighter because it kind of does that. All its hot gas has kind of come out that vent on the back. Uh, and the other thing that's cool about it is that it's a gaming laptop. It's got a 5870 and it's going to be really, really hot. Uh, these things do get warm and it's really annoying to have your hand, you know, because usually they come out on this side and, you know, you're gaming here, you might be using your mouse with this hand, uh, but then you put your hand there and you melt it off and that's really annoying. This one, uh, it's all coming out the back. So A, you don't feel the heat and you also don't hear the sound of the fans because the display uh, is in the way. So very, very cool. Uh, now there's a couple other features I want to show you real quick. These buttons right here, first one right there, this is very, very cool stuff. This is the one that just turns off the lights. Um, so if you push it, it's going to turn off the back of the keyboard as well as all the lights that are on the front uh, or on the keys or whatever. The second button is where we get serious. This is the auto overclock button. You just push that uh, and you enter twin turbo mode on this thing. Uh, that's actually what it's called and it does self overclock itself. Probably like 100 megahertz at idle. Uh, but I mean, I've gotten all the way up to 2.9 gigahertz uh, with the self overclock on single thread applications running Prime 95. Uh, just, you know, cut down the number of threads. And then finally, uh, this is the screen mode button. That's you go through all the different screen modes. So let's say that you are, uh, you're going to run um, a movie on here. You can go ahead and put it into theater mode. You want to push it again or to put it into vivid mode or gamma correction mode or standard mode or soft light. There's a whole bunch of really, really cool settings uh, that you can pick uh, using these buttons. Stay right there. Don't move. I'm going to go, I'm going to talk about the battery, so just back up when I start talking. All right, and then uh, finally, I want to show you uh, the battery on this thing, because it is a monster now. This thing uh, is definitely not portable, uh, and it's not meant to be used all around town, but it does have uh, a huge, huge battery. This is an eight cell lithium ion. It's a 5,200 milliampere hour battery. Uh, and ironically enough, this battery would keep a regular laptop running for like a day. Uh, but because this thing is such a monster, you're going to get about an hour to two hours of use max. If you leave it at idle, it'll go for about two hours. But if you use it, uh, anywhere from one and a half to one hours will work on here with this huge, huge battery. But uh, what do you expect when you got a 5870 in here? This thing is a, a gargantuan. Uh, last thing, operating system, 64-bit Windows 7 Home Premium, uh, as you can imagine. 8 gigabytes of DDR3, you should need a 64-bit operating system. Uh, and uh, that's basically it. Oh, one more thing. Warranty. Something that nobody else has. One-year accidental damage warranty is built into this computer. It comes with it in the box. You don't have to pay extra for it. It's not some scam. You get a one-year accidental damage warranty from Asus with this laptop. You also get two years of regular warranty, and it's a global warranty. Anywhere in the world, Japan, India, Korea, you're anywhere, you send it into ASUS Worldwide, they're going to sh cross ship you one back. Uh, it's absolutely incredible and that's something that nobody else offers. So uh, don't worry about making a big investment on a gaming laptop. This is the latest gen stuff. There's nothing out there like this right now. Uh, it is the uh, G73JH. This is the X3 uh, version of that. If you have any questions on it, email me and I will see you guys next time. For more information on the ASUS G73JH X3 gaming laptop, type in A50-17315 into any major search engine.